Ausrüstung beim Alpin Klettern unterscheidet. The equipment used for alpine climbing is quite different to that used in sport climbing. Nuts are very important. They are used to quickly set up protection points or create anchors for a belay. Nuts are the classic devices among removable protection gear in use today. They have no active expansion mechanism, so they can only be used to protect tapered cracks, unlike friends, which can also be placed in parallel sided cracks because they expand and generate spreading outward pressure. Nuts can be subdivided into wires or wire stoppers, hexes and tricams. These can be distinguished by their shape. Basically, they are conical, so they can be slotted into cracks. The type of nuts you carry will of course depend upon the type of route and your own preferences, how many protection points you need or prefer. I often decide this with the help of the route topo in the climbing guidebook. This normally lists the main sizes and even the types of nuts you will need to protect the route adequately. The quality of a nut placement is really measured by three criteria. First, the quality of the rock, whether it is solid and capable of withstanding the spreading outward pressure in the event of a fall. Second, there is the shape of the nut and how well it sits in the crack. And thirdly, there is the direction of pull, because I also have to consider the direction of any potential fall. If I've met these three criteria, then I've used the nut to create a solid placement. Nuts offer the best protection when they are placed in good contact with the surfaces of the crack and the lower third is securely wedged. As a rule of thumb when selecting your nut, it should be as big as possible and as small as necessary to fit the crack. When placing the nut, make sure that it can't work loose and compromise the placement as a result of rope movement when climbing continues. That's why I recommend two things. First, after placement, I would give the nut a sharp tug to make sure it wedges firmly into the crack. Then I would extend it using a quick draw so that the rope can have only minimal effect on the placement. You have to think strategically when climbing using nuts and removable protection points. That means it's important to get a good nut placement in as quickly as possible and not wait until the pitch gets difficult or tiring. Placing nuts and friends while leading a pitch requires a great deal of energy and that has to be rationed out over the climb. If the follower is lucky, the nuts will be easy to extract when following. Generally though, a nut tool is required. This is useful for pushing the nut upwards and out of the crack. If a nut is really jammed tight, feed the wire through the tool and pull it sharply upwards and out. This way your chances of taking your nut home with you are pretty good. As with friends, it's best to practice placing nuts on well-equipped, fun routes, fixing your own additional protection between the bolts. Another great way to practice nut placement, for example, is to work your way up a crack from a top rope just by placing nuts and friends. This is a really intense exercise and provides instant feedback on whether a nut is at least able to hold your body weight. Feedback, ob so ein Keil zum Beispiel zumindest mal das Körpergewicht hält.